Hello again, YouTube. This is Pini Bum, and welcome back to Sergeant Simulator. Last episode was a little bit of a while ago, but we totally saved Richard on all accounts with straight A's. Ignore these. Now we are ready to perform super ultra emergency high risk surgeries that only a professional. Shut up! I am talking. I cannot answer your call. That only professional and very experienced surgeons can accomplish. Let's do it. Hello again, Richard. How are you doing? Obviously not very well if you need me to operate inside of an ambulance, but oh my god. Okay, driver, could you calm down a little bit, please? There's a delicate surgery going on in the back of here. Oh my gosh, this is a mess already and I haven't even really touched anything. Okay, okay. The door is closed and everything's all good. So uh, there is the heart. Definitely would want to put that back in the box. It's a little bit dusty. It's okay. I'll just wipe that off on your, uh, your shirt there, Richard. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Nice and clean. And I will place it back in the box. And in the box. Oh, gosh dang it. Oh, oh god. What the heck? Whoa, whoa. There's glass. There's shattered glass flying everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's cutting Richard open more than he already is cut open. Stop it, glass. Oh my god, glass. This glass is not okay. Get, just grab it, please. Ow! It jumped into my hand, but I grabbed it. Oh, how convenient. The door's just open for me. Out you go. Bye-bye. Okay, we can do this. I just have to be sure not to lose the needles and not to lose the Dremel. As long as we are holding the Dremel properly. This is not properly. As long as we are holding the Dremel properly, we will be able to perform this surgery lickety split and we'll get Richard fixed up before he even has a chance to get to the hospital. All right, Richard, just stay with me. Oh my gosh. Okay, driver, I really need you to be a little bit more careful, okay? Could we go on like maybe off the freeway so you can go a little slower? Driver, please, you're shaking my hand up. Nice and easy, nice and easy. There we go. Ah, oh, who put speed bumps in the middle of a freeway? Ah, the doors keep flying open. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, just good. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna end up cutting Richard's neck open with this saw if this driver doesn't calm down. Just stop it. I really need to just focus. Get out of here, radio, Mr. Radio. And I'm not talking about the dog I had a couple years ago. I'm talking about you. You need to go. Come on. You had to hurt him on the way out too. It's okay, Richard. I'm here for you. I wish I could just hold this little thing right. Can I just flip it around, please? Gosh dang it. It landed in the same exact position it was last time. Ah, whatever. I'll just use it like this. It should be fine. Now, I just gotta be real careful because the driver and this road suck a lot. Oh, oh, gosh dang it. Every time it moves, my hand moves on its own and it's really annoying. Stop it. <laughs> Did you take the turns a little easier, driver? Please, it'd be very, very helpful to me and Richard if you took... Okay, we got like a driver from Tokyo Drift doing this. He's like drifting around corners like it's he's being chased by the cops. What's up with the music? It's all spooky. I thought I threw the radio out of the car. Oh no, it's come back to haunt me. I have to finish this surgery before the radio steals my skin. Okay, and, uh, oh, oh, not where I wanted to go. That is going to be a major problem once I start working on the internal organs. I can't just, oh, my hand let go. No, what, what, no, 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 saw. Come back to me, my beautiful saw. Oh, got it. Expertise. That of a doctor. Oh, wait, I am one. Oh my gosh, he's losing a lot of blood really, really quickly. Do I have the needles or did they fly out? Oh, green needle, there you are. Green needle, I love you. Uh, you're kind of inside of the box, though. I really need you to stop doing that. Oh no, he's gonna die. Grab the needle, grab the needle, grab, I can't get the needle out. Oh my gosh, stab him, stab him really quickly. Just stab, it's not working. Stop, driver, please, I need a steady hand. I need a steady hand. Gosh. Dang it. The driver had to go drifting right when I had to stab him with a needle. This is why you don't perform surgeries in the car. Just wait until you get to the operating room. This is horrible. All right, well, you know what they say. Second time's the charm. Wait, they don't say that? It's third time's the charm. Nuts to that. I'm not doing this a third time. Now, it would be really nice if this heart would just stop immediately jumping out of the box or if the driver would stop being a scrub. My hand keeps moving on its own. It's really, really 
really annoying. I really need to find a good place to put this heart. This box obviously is not a good or safe place. So I am just gonna plop it down over here. All right, Richard, I hope you don't mind having a little bit of a dusty heart. Gosh dang it, Hammer. Stop dragging across the patient. We need him to be unharmed. Okay, Hammer, 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 I know you're jealous of Mr. Buzzsaw there, but you really need to calm down or I'm gonna throw you out of this freaking truck. Ah, Dremel Saw, not you too. Why are you dragging across the patient? All right, I'm just gonna grab you. Could you drive a little bit smoother? Look what happened to me. Now I'm all drugged up and in a moving ambulance with Vin Diesel as the driver. This is a horrible, horrible situation for a surgery. I really just need to get this Dremel tool. This isn't something that I would like to do. This is something that I desperately need to do because somebody's life depends on it. So if this Dremel could just come out from underneath this force field of intolerable power, I would really... Ah! <laughs> yeah, gotcha, scrub. I think when I've drugged up, the car moves more because I hear a lot more drifting. I really just need to do this operation. Can't really see the bones all that well. I can't really see the bones all that well. I'm seeing two rib cages right now. One is the internal organs and one is the one I actually have to cut. I'm just gonna go willy-nilly, saw all over the place. Hopefully something good comes of it. You know what they say, when in doubt, drag a Dremel saw through your patient's stomach and cut and cut. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, I just need to figure out which rib cage is the real one. Driver, could you could you stop, driver? Every time my hand jerks, a puppy dies. Could you be a little bit... Oh, gosh dang it, this driver's sadistic. He likes to kill puppies. Okay, last rib. Come on, it's not that hard. Just get it. I know you're seeing triple. Yeah, we got the rib open. Heck yeah. Now for the more finicky parts. Rib cage, you could go away. I don't need you. Oh, I think I see the blue needle. I just need to poke myself with it. Blue needle, poke me, poke me, blue needle. Blue needle, why are there four needles? Oh, thank goodness. I thought there were four needles for... Wow, <laughs> that was actually a surprisingly clean cut for having seen four rib cages. All right, now I just need this Dremel saw again. Get these access pesky rib cages out of here. All right, now we need to, oh, oh my God. Holy cow, Dremel, you can't just do that. You can't just roll across Richard's lungs. Okay, you have to have some self-control. Frickin oh no! Oh gosh, dang it! The driver drifted and pushed my hand right where the needle was. I need the syringe. The syringe, please. Blue one. Stab me with it. Oh, that's the green one. Stab me with the blue one, please. Please. Just a little bit. Oh, thank goodness. This freaking driver sucks. Okay, and green needle. Green needle. Stab. Stab. Stabby. Stab. I remember the green needle being a lot more effective. Okay, there we go. He's good. All right, now to get rid of these pesky lungs. If I can remember, you just wrap them. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Oh, yeah, come on. It's like wrangling a fish. Yeah, there you go. You're welcome, Richard. You don't need that. Out it goes. This drill is really annoying. Oh, sorry. Huh. Yeah, out goes the drill. No, 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 no. Drill, drill, stop it. Stop it, drill, drill. Oh my god, drill, you are really being annoying right now. You're gonna jeopardize the surgery, drill. Selfish, cheeky scrub lord. Okay, you you, you just stay there, drill. I know that's a really precarious position you're in, but just... Okay, fine. Do what you want. Okay, Richard, now for the second lung. Clearly, you don't need this. Ah, oh, there we go. And uh, you're dead. Congratulations, Richard. I just killed you by taking out your lungs. <laughs> Do I have any scalpels or did they all fly? Here's one. Found one. Eh, grab it. Eh, grab it. Oh my god, driver, stop drifting. Every time I tell him to stop, he does it more. What should I do? Okay, grab. It really isn't that hard. All you have to do is just close your hand. Oh, <laughs> oh grab it. Oh, reach, reach. Oh gosh, this position is horrible. Okay, now I'm gonna drop it and try and grab it at a better position and grab. Yeah, perfect. This is a brilliant position. Now, now, if Vin Diesel over there would just stop drifting and realize that he's operating a truck with a very delicate heart surgery going on in the back, I would be doing a lot better. But Vin Diesel is just too selfish for that now, isn't he? Darn you, Vin Diesel. Gosh dang it, Vin Diesel, be still. We're not even driving to anywhere. I think that's why they told me to do this surgery in the back because Vin Diesel decided that he just wanted to treat the world as a racetrack and started driving for hours when the hospital was only like 10 minutes away. All right, just get out of there. Frickin' frick. Ah, stop drifting, Vin Diesel. Okay, that's gone. That's good. And now to sever the artery 
things. Yes, I did it. Holy cow. Holy cow. I need to inject him with the green needle. Hopefully I don't inject myself. Please don't drift now, Vin Diesel. And stab him. Perfect. Awesome. I think we're gonna do it. God, if Vin Diesel would stop drifting. That's really what I need to happen right now is for him to stop drifting. It's really starting to get on my nerves. Just grab the heart. Just grab it. Grab the heart. Really isn't that hard. It's a giant thing. Perfectly shaped for your palm. There you go. Now, drop it! Yes! Surgery <laughs> complete! I'll take it! Oh my god, that was really stupid. Well, another surgery success under Dr. Beanie. You're welcome, Richard. This is the fourth time I've saved your life. Now let's get out of this stupid death trap hospital bus Vin Diesel. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Surgeon Simulator. Oh god. No, this is what we have to do next. No!